Hello everybody, welcome back to Same Spirit Gaming. My name is Jordan. And my name's Matt. And I made it past that part. <laughs> Barely. So now I need to figure out what to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, cause the, the guard bridge is gone. <laughs> yeah, I guess they all got scared off. <laughs> Um. Oh, was there another way around there? Here. Okay, wait. We might have more enemies. I mean, I killed the enemies that I died at, but I guess this purple. Weren't there some like up high? Oh, I've done some there of the roofs. He is. <laughs> I see him. I didn't see that guy before. Whoa! All right. Here we go, right into that uh, action. And I guess that was the last one. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that's all of them. Rusty saves Zamorous Market. Does he mean saved? <laughs> or even saves it? Saves, yeah. Okay. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> hey, you save town. Make Rockman very happy. As gratitude for help, we give Meatbag 0.0001% off of every shop. Uh, thanks? I'm just gonna stand over here near this fog. <laughs> what the heck? Also, you now friend to us. You now may enter Sacred Shrine of the Flame Guardian. Sweet. What am Which I, I guess use? we have to assume is over in the direction that, you know, the camera just panned to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fast travel thing. Sweet. Hey. I really think they should have unlocked that earlier in the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, watch us use that never. <laughs> but, man, we really do need the resources. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Health stuff Health stuff. would be great. These are bombs. Looking for the potions. Here we go. If only healing in real life worked the way it does in video games. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly heal a lot of health. Yes. Oh. Can I sell to you? No room in bag. Yes, I can sell. Lucky tail, bones, hoof. There, now I got some room. Uh, slowly repair a little damaged health. Oh, I need that right now. There we go. Bye. So, wait, what What did the dude say about, you know, giving you money for your stuff? Uh, I did not read it. <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, I didn't have time to read it, but it, it, the wording almost made it seem like he wasn't happy. Like, <laughs> I'm not too surprised if he's not happy. Uh. Tubular. Okay, I think we're probably. Yeah, there we go. All right, me back. No room in bag. Couldn't you maybe use a couple of those now and then buy more? Yes. See, I almost think. Oh, max, max health. health and spirit energy. Wow. Oh, geez. That's too much. 2,000 uh. gold. <laughs> I almost want to get the spirit energy thing now because now we actually like use a bunch of it. Yeah. But I don't know. How much was that again? I already forgot. 250. Uh, nah. I'm patient enough to wait it out. 
Okay. Oh yeah, there was like a giant... This thing was awesome. Alright, yeah, I'm stocking up for the end game. I'll buy it. I have so much gold, too. I mean... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I assume we go to the place. The place. Yeah. With the, with the stuff. <laughs> That place with the stuff and the dude and the thing. And... Where we gotta do the thing. <laughs> hey -ya. Oh no, why did that happen? I guess I have to have the camera facing exactly where it wants me to have it. <sighs> Ouch. Oh no, please don't fall. Okay. No, please stop. <laughs> what? I jumped over it. Don't. No, this is freaking Couldn't me even out. see that one. <laughs> see, I turned the camera so I can see. But if you turn the camera, he doesn't jump over it right. Oh well. Jank. The janky game. Whoa. Sweet. The game appears to have frozen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor Jank. Jank. Why does this look Wait. exactly like where you came from? What? <laughs> I was just here. <laughs> yeah. What? Hold on a second. I'm going to go. Very confusing. <laughs> that should not have happened. I'm going to go back in here and see what happens. Well, I can go that way. I honestly think that was a glitch, but yeah. like, how? How would that happen? Now I have to do that all over again. <laughs> well, what? It's, and now he's just redoing this, this dialogue again. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know. I went that way, and now... yeah. well, uh... oh my gosh, I don't have the items. <laughs> what? It like reset everything. What the heck? All right. Well, I guess maybe it did freeze and it just like yeah. reloaded the last save. Or maybe this is the point where people got stuck. I hope not, but <laughs> that was weird. Well, we could either edit past redoing all that or bring in the verse of the day. Um. Oh, man. Gonna have to sell stuff first, though. <laughs> all right, we can do the verse of the day. That's fine. I feel bad, because... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um... So... I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 1. All right. Um, and I just thought it would be interesting to point something out. Um, I'm honestly going to read like verse 1 and then kind of like summarize a bunch of verses and then get, get all the way down to verse 17. Okay. Nice. I like it. Um, and once I read verse one, it'll probably make sense why I'm doing this. Okay. So, Matthew chapter one, verse one. This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And then it gets into that whole genealogy going from Abraham to David and David to Josiah. 
and then getting from there to uh, Mary's husband and I guess her birth as well. Um, yeah. But then it comes in in verse 17 and kind of summarizes all that and I just find the I guess symmetry for lack of a better word very interesting. So in verse 17 it says thus there were 14 generations in all from Abraham to David 14 from David to the exile to Babylon and 14 from the exile to the Messiah meaning Jesus. Nice. Just I, I find those kinds of things interesting how it's like, you know, there's exactly that many generations in between certain events in yeah. the Bible. Three, Almost six. like it was planned out ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. And I could actually expand on this idea even further. Go pre-Abraham. Oh, wow. Now, it's not 14 generations in the stuff prior to Abraham. Yeah. But um, if you go from... If you go from Adam to Noah, it's 10 generations. Wow. And then go from Noah to Abraham, and it's once again 10 generations. Huh. So 20 and then three sets of 14. <laughs> yeah, I... It, I don't know if even the like particular numbers of generations each time is supposed to be that significant, but even just like the fact that there is that yeah, kind of, you know, Symmetry, pattern like you're saying, yeah. Dude, <sighs> And Discord crashed. We are just off to a great start. <laughs> oh, man. First episode of this recording session. <laughs> Hello. So it's not just the game giving you issues today. I know. Uh, we're just, uh, yeah, having a great start. <laughs> Let me uh, set this up. You know what? I'm going to do... I guess I was doing more than 1080p streaming to you. So I'm going to do 1080p. <laughs> ah. Okay. Good to go. <laughs> but my OBS was continuing, so I guess I'll just continue on. Yeah, same here. All right. After some slight technical difficulties. Yeah. Oh, dude, I hate that. It's so annoying. Okay, maybe my problem is I don't touch the control stick when I jump or something. Okay, sorry, continue. Unless yeah, you're I mean, finished. Honestly, I had pretty much yeah. said the main thought that I had in mind regarding the, you know, Bible verses and whatnot and just all yeah. the... Definitely. Just patterns. Uh... <laughs> yeah. But numbers were important also, like specific numbers. Um... Yeah. Now, if, if all that had been 12, then I could yeah tell you quite easily the significance of that. But... <laughs> With 10 and 14, I'm not as sure of the significance there. <laughs> well, now that you brought it up, what is the significance of 12? Uh, well, 12 was significant mostly because that was how many sons that Jacob, a.k.a. Israel, had. Yeah. And thus you have them being the namesakes of the 12 tribes that are eventually founded. I don't know right. if founded is quite the best word, but... Yeah. 
Wow. This looks crazy. Which... Yeah, also, those kind... <laughs> the significance of the number 12 and all that almost makes me wonder if that's, like, sort of an interpretation that we're supposed to make out of a certain thing in Revelation. But that's, like, a totally different matter. <laughs> yeah, I but mean... But I've brought it up. <laughs> I knew that it was the 12 tribes and everything. I just didn't know if... Uh... There was, because there's some like perfect numbers and certain numbers that are like imperfect or trying to be more like three, for example, three is supposed to be kind of like a perfect number, or God's number. Because then, of the Holy Trinity. Okay. And then uh, seven is another like holy number. And that one I didn't quite Because that's how many days of creation, including the day of rest. Got it. Okay. But, like, four is too many, and two is not enough, and, yeah. Wow, this is crazy. Hey, little buddy. Didn't expect to see you here so fast. So you figured out how to free me? Uh, not exactly. The Watcher has possessed all the Guardians, and now I have to fight them. Uh, you... Apparently. I'm not happy with the situation either, believe me. The Watcher? What a jerk. Never liked that guy. He gave me the flame knuckles and... Okay, that part was kind of cool. I could punch a hole through, clean through a mountain back in my day. I remember this one time the Guardians had a bet on who would win in a fight, me or the Kraken of the Deep Ocean. And, well, let's just say my domain wasn't always, a. Uh, Desert, know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm basically the undefeated mega weight champion of the spirit realm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right, you still need to fight me. Don't worry, little buddy, I'm sure you'll kick my body's butt. You want to know the story behind the giant skull on Balmy Beach? I'll give you a hint it used to be alive. Okay, I think I get the picture, thanks. You were saying something about the Watcher? Oh yeah, the Watcher. He's a real bad hombre. He ordered us guardians to enslave humanity because he wanted to rule over the living and the dead. But I never wanted to enslave anyone. I just wanted to be worshipped, you know? Tastefully. I'm a tasteful guardian. So we, the guardians, combined our strength and trapped him in the spirit realm, never to be seen again. Or so we thought. <laughs> yeah. We had that sucker sealed in a big purple crystal. We buried him far away and even put a warning in everything. <laughs> I guess we'll never know how he got free. Anyway, no use crying over broken magic crystals. What matters now is getting you in fighting shape. <laughs> now drop and give me 5,000 push ups. <laughs> Just kidding, there's no time for that. Besides, you can just do what all the great athletes do. Use artificial enhancements to get an advantage. I can unlock the true power of the flame knuckles. I will grant you the power of the flame run, little buddy. Get ready. Cool. Flame run. Does that mean we can move faster? <laughs> it sounds really cool. Sure is a whole lot of effects going on here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. You got the flame essence. You'll move at the speed of raging fire. There. Now with those knuckles, you'll be able to literally engulf your whole body in flame. That sounds painful. <laughs> Don't worry, the flames only hurt your enemies and your ability to maintain healthy relationships. <laughs> With the flame essence, you can hit harder, move faster, and run across water and lava. You can even use the special fire launchers to fly like a burning phoenix. Almost no downsides at all. I really don't like it when you combine no downsides with almost. 
Let's just say you'll want to start carrying deodorant. Roll on, not aerosol. <laughs> anyway, when you're ready to find my body, it'll be in the Gilded Forge. To get there, return to where we first met. Sweet. Okay. Press the ability button to activate the flame dash, allowing Rusty to run at extreme speeds, even on top of water and lava. Okay. Got it. Oh, and I have an extra, another extra dot. That's very useful. Whoa, it's like a Naruto run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, when I saw the, like, hands behind, that was my immediate thought. Oh, dang. Okay, so I guess I gotta time it right. You can't really maneuver that well. And you get hit very easily. Dang. Hmm. I would think you could maneuver easier, but man. Or I guess oh, yeah, I mean, also it, your energy is all yeah, the way down. Okay. I guess you gotta wait for that to. Oh, this heals you too. Okay, that's good. Too. Oh well, that's handy at least. <laughs> okay. Go. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Do you have to like keep it held down or actually I think I was holding it down and I shouldn't hold it down. Ah. It's a toggle situation. At least that's what it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the problem. You're not supposed to hold it. Flame launcher. Okay, I'll just wait for the spirit energy. Oh, so that's what those are. I see. I guess you have to just like. Oh. Okay. Where am I aiming? Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Not real oh. sure. Um. Okay. That's a little confusing. Hmm. Come on. Okay. I guess I gotta do it like right at the most. I can't aim it, so it must be. Oh no! Oh man, this is feeling. Is it more really janky. supposed to be on top of there? I just, I don't know. <laughs> if you still have flame run energy, couldn't you do like uh, kind of back toward the entrance, but then also you know run on the lava after you launch yourself? Back to the entrance. Well, so like turn left. Yeah. And like launch yourself that way, and then maybe run on the lava some. But it turns me this way. Oh, it does. Yeah, it doesn't even let me choose the direction there. Whew. It was just I wasn't I don't know I wasn't jumping fast enough. This is feeling very janky. <laughs> <laughs> like more than usual. I think maybe like they were getting towards the end of the game and they were running out of time. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we yeah, gotta finish this. Surprising. <laughs> Whoa. What in the <laughs> Okay. Just to ah, send you to I'm other stuck. flame launchers. <laughs> I told you this is feeling janky. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't fail me, game. Not like now. every time that something like that happens now, <laughs> it makes you wonder. Makes you wonder, will this be the jank that yeah. uh, breaks the game? <laughs> will this be the one? All right, cool. Made it out. <laughs> Discord crashed. 
Hey Valley, I just spoke to Naraka and he gave me the ability to flame run. He told me that the Guardians were meant to enslave this world, but they trapped the Watcher in the purple crystal. Hmm. If the Watcher could be contained, then I wonder if there's a way to defeat him permanently. There's one last piece of the puzzle missing. Go talk to Glacia in the Shrine of the Ice Guardian. Oh man, do I have to? <laughs> Naraka wasn't kidding. I smell like pure sulfur. I think I'm gonna pass out from the fumes. <laughs> Hopefully Glacier's power is some kind of deodorant, because I'm not letting you in my house smelling like that. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, kind of understandable, but... <laughs> such a random side effect. Also, if nobody's willing to let you in to clean up and get rid of the smell, then how do you ever get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. <sighs> Didn't do anything different, it just <laughs> decided to Jump and not I wonder if it would let you do the uh, flame run mid-air, if, oh. if and when that happens. <laughs> I will try. Although it seemed like it might have kind of just automatically yeah, done something before you even hit the surface. I really just I don't know. need to not touch the camera, but I can't see as well if I don't. That is the problem. No, I did everything right that time. Okay, good. It should just be like if you're on a rail and you jump, it should assume you're trying to still stay on the rail. There have not been very many times yeah. that I need to jump off onto like a platform. Well, anyway. Okay, where am I going? Yellow dot, yellow dot. I'm not looking forward to doing the Glacia voice again. <laughs> where would you like to warp? Let's see if, uh, let me see where I need to go. Maybe the warp would be faster. Not the beach. It would be down here. Yeah, and wasn't it kind of from the boat. beach that you... Yeah. Okay. Because, like, then you got in the boat and... So I think I want to go to the village, right? This village thing. Watiti village. Or maybe just the castle. I'll just go to the castle thing. I don't know how much time this is even going to save, but oh well. Come on, game. You can do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, it doesn't save any time if the game breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. So many screens with loading. <laughs> I kind of wish more people knew about this game because I feel like, well, I was going to say, I feel like it would make a funny playthrough, but we are doing a playthrough. <laughs> um, but I mean, like for other people as well. That's what I was kind of going for. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's this guy. He's still <laughs> standing where he should not be standing, obviously. 
working on the grass. There's no <laughs> way this is intentional. But, like, multiple loads into the same area has that happen? <laughs> I do not. The jank understand. is everywhere. Yeah, it's just weird. Is this right? Yeah. Okay. Is this right? Oh, because previously we there was a mountain there, so now we're just going around it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and we can actually go this way. Yeah. What a handy ability. See, now if this game was doing things even remotely the right way. Yeah. <laughs> at least going by, you know, the stereotypes. Uh, <laughs> it would have one, like, final area where you have to use all these new abilities and stuff. Yeah. I think we will hopefully have that. But I have to fight all the spirit guardians. So maybe I have to use it all there. I don't know. It's lagging. <laughs> the frame rate has dropped significantly. <laughs> Why? This is like... 15 frames a second or 10 or something <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> well I'm like sometime soon here. We could kind of you know Stop recording for a little bit. Yeah, oh my put God. an end to the episode. I Don't know what is happening <laughs> All right, yeah, let's call it an episode. This has just been like a mess, I feel like. <laughs> this is all the jank, Discord crashing. All right, well, thank you very much, everyone. We got one ability and we're gonna get another one in the next episode. One step closer to the end. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Let's step closer to the end. Game's about to break.